Hello everyone, welcome to the very first charity stream that I'll be hosting along with a bunch of my friends today. We are raising funds for the Trevor Project. I chose the Trevor Project because I would also like to help youths also find the answers for themselves at a much younger age so they don't wander through life through all kinds of struggles and challenges. So Trevor Project spoke out to me the most out of every charity that I was looking at. We are aiming to raise 5,000 to benefit the Trevor Project and every time we hit $500, we will be giving away a random signed Genshin print. You do not have to donate. All you have to do is be here in the stream to type the command if you're interested in it. Uh, two of the voice actors are with us today. We have Jen Losi who voices Ganyu, and we have Torgi who voices Goro. What They've the also generously given us a print as well and um, helped find other voice actors who are interested in donating prints to this cause. So that's every 500, our goal is 5,000. And if we get past that, we have some fun incentive goals lined up for each streamer to perform. Some a little lukewarm and fun, some a little bit more extreme. I think we have an ultimate end goal of 10,000 where I have to go purchase a Senora cosplay. Pre-Shogun oopsie. So anyway, thank you everyone for joining in. Thank you friends for uh, giving me some of your time today to assist me with this, my first one. Thank you for having us. All right. Thank you. Um, let's introduce everyone as I shift over to this song, a more intense song and this voice actor type <laughs> announcer voice today we will Moon be doing Carver, is that you yes, the genshin boss rush tournament eight com eight competing to, to be the fastest genshin player in the first slot we have the yoimiya main theory crafter and recently had a trending youtube video at number 11 braxophone In the next slot, we have a talented voice actor of many different, all kinds of ranges, but also very strong at his three crafting game in Genshin Impact. We have Corey Yi. Woo! Made the Geo Park on the <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the number one Shinyan main in all of Genshin Impact worldwide. Will not be participating Ooh. in the tournament, but be acting as a shoutcast. We have Gib! Yo! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Next up, we have the most wholesome person I know in the world, but also strongest, smartest amongst the Genshin Impact Three Crafts. <laughs> we have Gen Lucy! Maybe I didn't think we were talking about me! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the greatest dad of all time, but also the strongest dad jokes in the world, and also one of the strongest voices you'll ever hear. We have Jun Yoon. It's time for emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> Except we have a fellow lovely cosplayer and VTuber. I just met recently, actually, Yatorin. Hello everyone, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Up next we have the very friendly, very funny, and lover of wanting to taste all kinds of different things. <laughs> Ruby! <laughs> Ooh, hello, thanks for having me here. <laughs> <laughs> Up next we have the most energetic talk show man that I know who can come up with all kinds of fun ideas and the person that introduced this idea to me in the first place. Tristan, go! It's always a pleasure. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> and then up next, we have the formerly known as Genshin Girl, but now the Hoyoverse. We have Ying! You actually said it? You said it! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! And we have myself. Not the number one Amber main, the most humble. I can't even call myself humble if I call myself humble. Uh, myself, Rin Taicho. I'm joined by my two mods, Kinyo and Trulu, to help ref this match. Uh, well, everyone, I believe it's no time like the present to get started. Essentially, what we have going on today is not like any sort of normal tournament. Instead, we decided to throw in a little bit of Mario Party elements just to really throw things in the mix. It is a single elimination bracket. Every, each one of these streamers will go be going head to head to head to head to head to head and figuring out which one of you has spent a callous amount of money on this game and potentially has the best teams. 
We determine that actually based off of a set of different wheels that go on. Each singular round has a unique set of enemies attached to it, as well as specific modifiers. So you'll see here, we have the list of the different world bosses, we have the different cubes and flowers, as well as different world bosses. The sort of fights that you'll be taking place actually change based on which round we are on, with the first couple of rounds being kind of easier, with the final round being an absolute pain. On top of each and every single one of these fights, we will spin what is potentially my favorite wheel, the Detraction Wheel. This wheel will add in one kind of a little tiny misstep, something that makes your fight just that much harder. Some examples of this include not being able to use your burst against the Raiden Shogun, maybe cryo only against the cryo flower. It's a pain, but it's still doable. To finish things off to make it slightly different between the two fights, we will be having uh, one of these uh, extra tokens given on to the fight of your choice. The competitors get to mess with their opponent just a little tiny bit. We can explain the how the prelims start. So yes, please quick. do, because I yeah. need to pull up those pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. So the prelim round first, everyone. It'll be a round to determine the seating on the tournament ladder. So it'll be eight of us. How it will go is first place will go up against eighth, second will against seventh, third against sixth, fourth against fifth. So how it'll work with all of us, we don't have any rules added to us right now. We can run however the teams we want. But the order of bosses we'll fight will be the Animo Cube, the Pyro Regisfine, and then the Hydro Hypostasis. Any order you want, as soon as we say go, we run, we fight them. The first one to finish, we'll shout out, then we'll mark down the list from there, and then we will figure out our quarterfinal we'll setup. Right, oh, do you want to also explain like the food and oh. heals and stuff rules? All right, so we do have tournament rules. I have it in this doc right here. I can type a command for this. So some rules that we will go over. I guess we'll introduce them as we go. So obviously, people ask, is there healing allowed? So no food buffs, but healing is okay. But you're only limited to using radish veggie soup, miso soup, or soba noodles. Any resurrection food item is allowed, but you're also allowed to use your NRE. <clears throat> I'm ready. Are you all ready? All right. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna throw up. Like. Fighters. Three, two, one. Good luck. Right. We've reached a thousand dollars already, everyone. Wow, Let's go. that is incredible. Amazing. We have two oh. prizes to already give away. And I'm noticing that we're already at the hardest part of the entire game of trying to get from the teleporter point all the way to the animal's death. I'm noticing so far. Brax has already gotten to the second boss uh, alongside with Jen Losi. And oh, that is somebody on the top right. Who is that? Corey Lee has already beat his second boss. Okay, interesting. So it feels as though people are staggered between the first and second boss right now with Corey being the number one placement right now. The amount of anxiety going on in this call right now is delicious. And we haven't even hit the parts where they start getting issues. Uh, we've already gotten two people now. Oh, actually three people. Corey is done. And that is our first person. Corey is done. I'm noticing that everyone is very close to each other in terms of timing. Brax take second? Yes, Brax did take second. Now we will say those middle places are probably the most important because they will help determine who exactly you're fighting against. Gen number three. June's done. All right, I'm done. Oh, he's I'm done. done. You're done. Oh, Are my you God. Done? We're <laughs> And we have our final contestant. Well, <laughs> here is our first set of fights, everyone. Up first, we have Corey Yi versus Katarin. As our number, as our one to, to break us out, get us started, we move on then to June versus Rin. Again? <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Amber <laughs> Amber <laughs> <laughs> we have Brax versus Ruby for our third fight. And rounding us out is Jen versus Ying. How are we all feeling about this? Nervous. Let's go, dude. I was like, Jen has a C6 scan, you have screwed. And then one of my mods was like, was earlier saying, like, you're going to do fine. And then Radver said that they were like, never mind, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, everyone, now that we have our rounds decided, we will begin with Corey versus Katharine. Woo! Um, to start with, we will go through the rules and what fights you guys are doing for our quarter finals. Our first one is going to be either a cube or a flower, one world boss, and one fight of either child or Devalin. With, of course, the attached kind of rules and stipulations. Um, I guess that there's no time like the present to get started and pick your Check fights.
So we shall get started in three, two, one. Good luck. As we hop on over to commentary booth, these two are getting going. It seems as though we, both people are having uh, the same idea of going just after that oh, first yeah. heal boss. Straight to Geocube. That Yelan is zooming. <laughs> He's pretty much already there. He has but still, to you're give, almost getting there too. But to give uh, Katarn also the same treatment, she's also right there. It only saved yeah, off a little bit of time. Holy moly. Gabby's gonna absolutely delete this. Holy <laughs> well, that was like it's a one second kill. Gone? Is, yeah. It is okay. gone just like that. I was okay. looking at the wrong screen and it's already gone. Interesting. Yeah, it's already gone. Okay. But here we go. We are. Oh, he's going actually to child. Probably because twins is going to be the hardest thing. So you're probably saving yeah. the hardest for last. That is very true. Man, we. I, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. And we're so already down to the next to phase. Oh, almost. Okay. Oh, very close. Very close. And Corey's already on the final phase of Corey Child. Corey is just smurfing on Child. We were y correct. Yalan is too crazy. <laughs> she is insane. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh my god, 132k or something. Okay, <laughs> Oh wow. Run. No okay, wonder Corey's this person was first place. We have the third phase of the Geocube. Is finally, it's gotten hit. We're gonna see these things get deleted pretty quickly. I have pretty good faith that yeah, this will be a one-rounder. Going to be able to go through this. And then we have Pito, a little support. Should be able to clear this. Oh, I came it's back actually up. a miss. Unlucky. Just a second too late. But, oh, which one quick burst from Hu Tao, it was totally fine. Now we're moving over to look at Corey's side. He's using the ult on Zhao. The problem with this fight is that Zhao is an absolute fiend for energy. So this might be his only burst yeah. he gets. And he unfortunately did the tech where he kind of started a, a little early. He had to walk across yeah. the entire area. And Chris actually not going after this guy on the pillar either. He's just going after the main dude. Oh, I, he might die here. These ice attacks are very strong. <laughs> using some iframes from the ulti though. Okay, able to live through all the ice damage. Nice. Oh, he's getting beamed though by the guy on the wall. That might be. <laughs> that might want to be his change of focus right there. We'll see. And also, you just lose so much energy that way. But he did manage yeah. to get ult out. I wonder if he could cheese it Should where be he able starts to. Clear the to... ice guy here. Maybe. I mean, double the. Oh, Zhao's almost gone. Oh, a little bit of health back. Oh, sh oh, Zhao is super low. When Reminder: HP. They can use healing items, and that <laughs> is child down. We're down to the final okay. four on both sides, actually. He oh. is catching up. We should be able to catch up fully, though. We might see it. We might see it. The, the, the reverse sweep. The 3-1 lead gets absolutely blown. <gasps> Xiao's dead. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to have to be a reset. This is going to... This might have to be a reset. I don't know. Are we going to see the other one come though? back? Not, not yet. He's in the red for Traveler. Oh, no. Okay, so he, he revived Zhao. Got some energy. And it's over. Oh, okay. Okay. Not... With the revive. He did save it. Oh, my up. gosh. It was close, though. Congratulations to our two fighters. That got down to the very last fight oh, for both of you two. Good. Absolutely crazy on both your sides. Corey, do you have anything necessarily uh, that was kind of... I, we, we saw a little bit of issues with this final fight here. Any sort of words with that? Bringing no healer with Xiao is unfortunate. Uh, and I'm really thankful that we have healing food at all because that made a huge difference. Um, and I'm really glad that I built Geo Traveler this week. Uh, really, really hard, actually. I specifically built his abilities up. He's actually pretty darn strong. So. And then, uh, Katorn, we saw some really good plays from you as well. Is there anything that really kind of you were worried about or tripped you up here? Thanks for um, fighting. I wasn't super, I think I was a little worried about the Geo Cube. Oh, I paused it because uh, I always fight with Dong Lee. I've never fought like the Geo Cube <laughs> without him. So it was uh, like, a, it was like a, yeah, it was a that, new thing. But I think it was fine because I, I built Ningguang in case I needed her. Yay. I yeah, love definitely. Ningguang. Yeah. And Down she's to hot. the wire. <laughs> that, oh, that, hey, that works out. <laughs> it's fair. Incredible. Well, thank you guys for such an exciting first round. Uh, Corey, you'll be taking on whoever is the winner of our next fight here. Grin, any, any words on that first fight? <laughs> that is Yalan, man. Holy crap. It's disgusting. <laughs> I God, just like blink and it was done. 
<laughs> well, one of you two will have to face off. I'm just seeing a Yalon with the red glowing eyes meme right now in my head, so. <laughs> yep. We'll have to see how that are, works out. We are single-handedly increasing Yalon sales the next time she drops. Now, I referred to this as uh, as the Giants fight right now. The, 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 the two big, big time hitters. I want to hear a little yeah. bit about if that is an accurate statement about your guys' accounts. How confident are you two? 100% incorrect. No, boy. <laughs> Man, I was so excited. I was, I was hyping you up. You could have just lied to me. I would have been fine with that. <laughs> I am completely ready. I'm completely ready to do what I can as best I can to defeat Rin Tai Cho. But will certainly be the first time it'll ever happen, either in real life or in my dreams. So there you go. June, okay, I, okay. I, think, I think we have to take a peek real quick at the rankings. You're currently ranked number four. So you did, in fact, already beat once in yeah, the prelims. Yeah, you did beat me once. Did beat him once. Well, in that case, I guess there's no time like the present. We're going to get started then with our wheel spins. With our teams nice and uh, made sure that they're up to code, we can now get started. With three, two, one. Good luck. Oh, they're both going to just uh, yeah, Electro to start. Both starting at the Electric Cube. Now the question is, somebody had a question about doing skills versus the Electric Cube, and if this is even possible to do without skills. And the yes, fact that they both have elemental both. charge attacks, mm -hmm. and both of them have that. Just gonna have to remember. Oh gosh, dang it! That's a miss. It's a miss. My stupid controller. <laughs> ah. <laughs> My finger on the trigger! Goodness gracious. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, I just did a shield, didn't I? <laughs> no problem, I said, right? No problem, I said. It totally is. Oh wait, did it skill? There's skills here. June, totally I am is. sorry, June you need to stop for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good luck. <laughs> oh, we gotta go yell at him for a second. Brain is done with Electric Cube going on the Ocean Agent. Oh my gosh, incredible. We're getting Ocean out of the wing now. I don't know, I feel like Brain's got two heavy fights back to back. Like, this isn't an easy one. If, uh, even with the, the time sink, June still got that done with pretty quickly. So this should yeah. save him hopefully enough time. Am I crazy or is June missing some platforms? Yeah, he is missing a, missing a quarter platform right there. <laughs> I don't know why it's not raised yet. Well, that's confusing, okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Dude, the game is fighting against him to win. That's oh, crazy. Both yes. are swimming over. Both under the strap. Oh, wait. Oh, no, Rain's never going mind. For the Kokomi all strap. Okay, <laughs> I see it. Not the Kokomi run on water so strap. Right. This optimization, dude. Uh, let's see how they do this with their. Uh, oh, this physical, looks like it hurts. characters here. Rin is <laughs> Rin is running a. He's got the the child soundtrack going on right now. Child song, I love it. <laughs> Sorry, let me turn it off. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. Okay, keep it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's one phase done for both players already. They're neck and neck okay. for this one. Oh, that's annoying. one dead. Oh, but the Barbara C6. Yeah, and that is one Ocean of done as well. Ooh. Hey, one more bird left. And uh, Rin is almost done with the first yeah, view that Xiao is not having that much problems. Uh, for somebody that said that they didn't use Xiao, I'm seeing the signature yeah, weapon. Uh, and I'm feeling lied and betrayed too, actually. This could be the end. Okay. We'll see. Shun's still dealing with these got skull <laughs> whirls and more birds attacking yeah, him. He's got a whole haberdashery of different things fighting him right now. <laughs> Getting pushed into the water. Oh, he ran out of- he died with oh, the stamina! Out of stamina. No! no! Oh, oh this is back. such a shame! Oh, no. Does that, that reset the entirety of it? That might reset the entirety of it. Single no. player, so there's no one to hold it. Yeah, and Rin is about to finish up here. Half HP left in the last phase of out of here. Yeah, Rin's gonna have both here and be able to finish him off. I don't think he's gonna use it either. Or they're gonna use it. And that is our second game that is complete. The finisher. Big claps all around, June. We are heartbroken about that. <laughs> the the what was it? A squirrel? What, what's what's your new enemy of a, of, a, of an animal? All of them. All of all them. Of them. All. Show included. All of them. <laughs>
All right, everyone. Uh, we have our next two people. We're gonna go through their list of um, wheel spins. Imagine. What's going on, gamers? What's up, gamer? How we doing? Three, two, one. Good luck. Looking at this fight right now, I don't think I'm expecting anything that bad on Ruby's side. I feel as though she's been underestimated hardcore in this fight. I mean, Brax, yes, he is the guide guy, and yeah, but he's got some hard fights going on with the only being able to use Ninglong against Child is just a, is, is a horrific time stick, and that's already the beginning of the Electric Cube down. All she's got to do is make sure she gets the different abilities out, which seems as though it's working pretty well for her. And that's two down. Can you get her one shot, one round, one opportunity? That is it. Okay, that's one down from Ruby's side. <laughs> Electric Cube is gone, and Brax is still working on the twins. Brax is done with his first fight, getting one of the hard ones out of the way right now. Brax using the Yoimiya here is honestly going to be a really quick one. I This is probably going to be his easiest fight by far. Nothing really pay too close of attention to. What is really interesting is seeing how Child know he... Uh, oh, no, sorry. Actually, Ruby's left the hardest one for last, hoping to just kind of let Brax get tripped up on something and just pull out the win right at the very end. To be quite honest, this is my first time using Hazo. Oh. Um, I've not actually seen any Hazo gameplay. I don't own this unit, so I have no idea if uh, the strategy you using is correct or not. I'm assuming so. As Brax takes himself over to that third fight, and it's rocks only. I'm seeing quite a bit of Geo damage. We might have underestimated Brax's ability here to go absolutely ludicrously fast with this unit as Ruby is reaching phase three. Brax has just entered phase two. This is a very quick one. Switching between the two the two uh, Geo units, being able to get that residence off that he needs. Unfortunately, missing an ult there. Oh no, not, not missing an ult. Hello? I don't even know what's happening. My screen just stopped. <laughs> Let me skip the cutscene. Oh my god, I think my Genshin's like <laughs> my Genshin's so scuffed. Ja, Ruby is still all the way at the beginning, but J J Child Child's Ningguang died. Or sorry, Brax Ningguang died. Yes, Child is actually switching up his entire attack pattern just for you, Brax. I, I believe it. And that's another dead Ningguang. Oh, is he gonna get caught in the whale? And that is our winner. How are we feeling by the end of that? Brax, did you say you thought that child was using new moves to fight you? It was new, it was new moves. He's never never before done. Ruby, any any words All from right. you before we uh, head on um, over? Oh my gosh. Nothing. It was it's it was really fun, and it, it's an honor to be here, <laughs> and uh, to go against All Brax right. is truly an honor, literally. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. It was, it was fun. I was actually sweating. I was actually sweating. <laughs> I'm on the last spot, so I was like, oh no. <laughs> I, I was actually dying. All my characters died on the child boss. So I was oh, like, all right. Oh, <laughs> Let me just try no. to make you sweat a little bit. It worked. I, I was like, <laughs> if I took one more hit, I had to restart. So, so let's go. We're going to go pop over to host area. Good luck, you two. And we'll catch you sooner than later. All right. You two are our final, final uh, first placement. What are, what are our thoughts right now after viewing all these matches? I'm absolute panic. <laughs> uh, I have a nice <laughs> stomach ache. The one thing we did establish is that this will is probably not going to be like a fun <laughs> talk room because I don't think I'm capable of <laughs> talking Jen. I'm not. <laughs> I can't do it. Not my energy anyway. I would like if I were able to watch you at the same time. If I had if I had a second screen, I'd be like, oh man, nice job. <laughs> I was exactly. Awesome. It's like, and like then I would like get like, wipe like, because I was watching and so excited <laughs> that like I would completely <laughs> lose. There you go. Well then, everyone, it's time to get started. Three, two, one. Good luck. Um, they seem like they have similar teams, they but do. I think Yanfei is better than uh, Amper for Child. So I think that would be that might be the determining factor, depending on how they uh, how they do this here. Right. But their team for the first two bosses is pretty similar. I'm expecting, or better, that the hope is that the Vishaps don't take too long, because I feel as though oh. Ying might be having some issues. Oh, Ying is oh, getting. No. <laughs> Ying is getting. Take a listen. Jen done with the pyro cube. Wow, to, that is fast. Uh, going to twins. All right, Ying is done with pyro cube. Where's she gonna go next? 
it seems like this is where they're going to tie back up because Jen is not that far into the twins yet. I have to agree. Yeah, this is looking. I was I was concerned for a second just on how fast that one went for her originally, but no, they are yeah. pretty close. Jen is half HP on both of them right now. That's half uh, HP on the other also one. About over to here. Die. Oh, the oh, Yato no. is dead. It is pretty even right now, yeah. but Ying is looking like she's about to strive ahead. I feel she's like this really once, matters so go ahead. Who, who can dodge the blast that take away your energy. That feels like a yeah, huge that part of this fight. And Ying is oh, taking- Oh, Ying going ahead. Okay, the solo Yanfei either versus Child. This is definitely going to tie it back up again. With this Jen is going to be a test of healing more than anything else, I think. Actually, you know what? That's a pretty built uh, Yanfei. Both fighters are okay, down okay. to their final fight. <laughs> My favorite thing I, I consistently see Genshin players do is that if they get hit by a move, they say, ouch. Ooh, that's a dead Oh, she's about to die to the whale. Oh, no. Both fighters still on the second fight. Volusion Unleashed. Um, kind of in the same exact spot, too, as well. Yeah. That lightning strike is oh, brutal. Oh, the lightning strike. I wonder if there's any <laughs> benefit in just switching over to Traveler just to tank the hit at a certain point. Now, Probably would be because Traveler's not doing much except yeah. just uh, being the, the extra just star the <laughs> player. <laughs> oh no, here comes another one. Oh, okay. Oh wait, she might That's reset. a challenge fail. Oh, oh no, and that's another reset. Oh, another reset. No. Oh no, that might be another reset. That might be. No, she that. saved herself. All right, there we go. Oh, she blocked it with the bunnies. Oh, there's the reset. Yang is starting to take some pretty kind of conservative hits, only going for shots she knows she can land and not have to worry about any nonsense from Child. And uh, <laughs> Jen did go for the soup refresh. Always a good plan. Did get another food refresh. Nice. Good stuff. And that's another wipe. Oh, rip. Is that another? Yep, that's, oh, a, that's it's a... another reset for Jen. Oof. Will they be? I'm going to be able to get through this. <laughs> I this believe. Like you know reset. what? I have full faith. We just got to find like the timing. Reset. Okay. Do you want to just go so in the there? Update? No, no. They, they, so there's an update happening. Um, basically, okay. what has changed is that uh, Ying has uh, uh, Ren has come in and said we are taking off the restriction for bow and catalyst. It is going to be simply a pyro only fight from here on out. Okay, that makes sense. So uh, yeah. it's not reset impact. Yeah, it's has reset, like impact. reset. <laughs> <laughs> No, not reset impact. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Hello, we got. Ren. Don't worry. We heard the update. We've been okay. we've been relaying all the information. Um, yeah. Do you feel now is that that's going to make a major difference with this thing? I it think will. with an extra yeah, shield, it's being be restricted nice. to two characters is on weapons. Is that two characters don't, that like, they didn't have weapon to. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So now this they will have, give them a little bit more Bennett, so leeway. They will definitely you be able understand to what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> don't you dare! Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. I think it's actually going to run down to whoever gets their their set built first. Technical. No, I'll, I'll count them down for this one. So oh, okay. So you're giving them some time. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's very funny that Ying's whole conversation about soup is all based on an internet reference from like 2005. <laughs> yeah, well, I was also mentioning that to my stream. He's like, oh, guys, we're in soup right now. <laughs> yeah. Having Hu Tao on both teams makes this pretty fair on that side. I think that the D Luke is going to be pretty nice here. Do you have a least favorite boss, Cube? Um. Raiden. Jen's got a little bit of a head start here, it seems. Uh, jumped in the fight a little earlier. Uh, which is good. We can see if there's any sort of benefit to that. And the first phase is already down on Jen's side. That's crazy. That is significantly faster. Yeah. And Hu Tao is already putting in the work on side number two. Yeah, this is an absolute blitz now. Oh my god. This gosh. is just as fast as they can move. <laughs> Look at them go. Yeah, seriously. Oh wow. Who wow. is going to complete it first? We're seeing Jen, a cutscene uh, on Jen's I think side. Her, uh... Her first start right here might get her the W. Yeah. That little bit faster computer might have been the change that was needed. <laughs> but I feel as though the skip for the cutscene on Ying's side was faster. So they're actually kind of in the same spot right now. This is going to be... Yeah, we went from being right now. recent very, impact very Ooh, to down a photo on Jen's finish. Side. I'm curious. An ult? That is extremely Ying close. over. Ying, Ying, Ying does take it. it. Oh. The wow. death made it so, so Jen close. All right, let's go. Finish it out the yeah. victory. Let's go chat with them and see how they feel. Congratulations, <laughs> you two. Uh, Moving well, on. Well, well done, Jay. Look, we took off those bracelets and then instantly 
the dude, photo finish between the two of you absolutely crazy <laughs> yeah exactly this hey this is what like, one singular extra detraction does to a person <laughs> it's just terrible yeah, really <laughs> huge oh difference. gosh Seriously. but yes ggs oh for both of our competitors here thank you so much for rounding out our quarterfinals here well, well done i look forward to watching you crush it plus if you're oh, up God. against Corey, i'll give you all the pro tips Ooh. No, oh my god, yes. Yeah. Please talk in my ear. Tell me the secrets. <laughs> Hello, contestants. How are we doing? Hello. Howdy. So crazy. So we have oh, moved crazy. on to our oh. semifinals with our two fights being Corey versus Ren Taicho and mm -hmm. Braxophone versus Ying. Now, Ying unfortunately does have to head out sooner than later. So we were wondering oh, yeah. you if we do could first? do this round first and then do sure. Corey and Ren nice. afterwards. Sure, we can do that. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. Good awesome, stuff. I appreciate right, it. Sounds good. We'll be jumping over to hosts, the people that will be fighting next. Please come and join us and right. we can get started with this. Uh, I guess there's no time like the present for us to pick our new bosses, but don't worry, everyone. It's not the same as how it was before. We have a whole new set of bosses for you guys to play around with for our Ooh. semifinals. Ooh, okay. Instead, okay. what we're doing for this one is going to be two cubes or flowers, one world boss, and the final fight will be e either Azraha or Andreas. Tristan, wait, wait, wait. Andreas, this final round actually has nothing on it. Oh, no. Oh. Right, so you're good to go. Oh, Andreas has nothing. Okay. Andreas, Azra have forgot nothing. About that. Senora, Raiden have nothing. It'll be your regular teams. Uh, don't forget, there are lifelines in this round too. Right. There's lifelines in this round. There's lifeline characters that you can add to your team that will ignore any rule that got applied to any fight. So the lifelines, okay, there's the a life list of characters. characters. Yeah. Do you want to say them out loud real quick? Uh, They're in Ren? whiteboard now. It's Barbara, Bennett, Diona, Kuki, Shinobu, Noel, Sayu, and Shinchul. There we so go. So you can apply so. them to any of these fights. They will ignore the rule that was implemented there. The only one it won't write over is the three member team. You'll still have to run three members, but you can bring one of them in if you want. Good stuff. Gotcha. If you want to do the... You want to do an ad read? We haven't done one of those yet. Ah, we haven't done an ad read. You know what? Yeah, let's do one of those. As you all know, you always need um, certain, certain, let's, let me rephrase this. Let's, we can get a better way to say this. Essentially, we, every point in our lives, humans always want to build upwards. We always want to strive to be the greatest and uh, always achieve new success. As part of this, uh, there's been new developing projects that have been happening in Leeway recently. And uh, the only people you should be trusting is the best construction workers around. Uh, that is um, Albedo Building Construction Agency. Uh, around to these parts, we have the best and most uh, trusted elevator systems in the tri-state area. You will be forever safe and secure within our new state-of-the-art systems that go both up as well as down. Um, Albedo Elevators is the only way you can go. Already, All if right. you both are at Windrise, we can get started then. Three, two, one. Good luck. Gib, what is the feeling? Talk to me. Um, this looks this looks pretty even, honestly. They didn't get anything too bad. I think it's just gonna be whoever does it faster. Yeah, uh, that's true. Brax only has three characters for PMA, but that's not bad because he's using Ben as his lifeline. I'm also noticing Ning Wong on her team has no health. Why? What happened here? Probably just there for, uh, for you know, hype, purposes. hype girl, you know? Oh no, she's dead. Well, there's the Ning Long. Yeah, she forgot that Ning Long was not healed. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she does have the Barbara though. Season's Barbara. Oh, but Gosh. that's an already dead animal hypostasis. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, and Brax is already on two second boss as well. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, that's a miss on one oh, of the sigils. Oh, she has to sigils. get the sigils. Oh yeah. no. She might have to rerun. Oh no, she's missing them. Uh, that is, that is not a one phase. Ooh. Oh no, that might be what sets them apart right there. All right, that final little tap in, he should be good. Brax is only just now getting to the boss, but Brax is a whole boss ahead right now, so. But yes. the other ones aren't as far to get to. I feel like the, the it, it really is just a, trying to sprint over to get it. There we go, there's the first boss done. Um, okay, Brax, is, Brax ult just one yeah. taps it, okay. <laughs> as it just beams it. I, I don't know if he's got C6, but he's got a Yeah, he has C6 C. R5, so uh, his really? Yai is very juiced up. Oh my yeah, gosh. He is a uh, big Yai shrimp. And Brax is over at Perpetual Array. So what are we, we're, and we're going on versus Andrews right, right now. now. Yeah. Which is probably smart. Just get it out of the way. It takes a while. 
and Brax leaving it to the end is fine, because his account can handle it, but is still a little nerve-wracking. Brax is still Brax finishing is off. time stalled here. The yeah. yikes hurts are auto-targeting the wrong enemy <laughs> here. He is definitely molding over that. <laughs> oh, I can, yeah, he, he's, I can see him yelling. All right, on to the next boss for Brax. It'll be interesting to see which one of them beats Entrance first. Oh, Brax is getting attacked by every single mob on the <laughs> route right now. <laughs> Losing a little bit of critical health on that on that Bennett. We'll see if that matters. Bennett's just tanking that head. Oh, he's wearing the shield. It'll be fine. POV, you one shot the boss but died to a hilly troll. Yep. Oh, and speaking of which, there goes uh, Ben. There goes Yoi Mia. Oh no. Oh no, Yoi Mia. So that's one so dead Yai, Yai, Yai Mia, one low Bennett. Yeah, will Yai, will Yai carry? Kazuma and Yai seems like a kind of crazy combo. If he can get like a Kazuma ult off, um, right as he jumps in, should be fine, right? Should be able to. Oh, there, so the, the three little points are right where they need to be. I don't think that ult went off the way he wanted it to. It didn't. He wasn't able to get oh, out I of think the he animation just wanted cancel. To, yeah, he, I think he wanted to get out of the animation, but that's how uh. the damage, so I don't know. Because <laughs> his Yai is C6R5, so it, that ult might just kill half HP. Yeah. Oh, he's I'm just going to watch it right now, though. Yeah, there we go. And it is over. Congratulations, everyone. Yai versus PMA might be, like, the second most RNG thing on the planet. Like, <laughs> she's just attacking all the wrong enemies. I, like, I don't know how that happened. Like, it was consistently not the one in front of me. It, it all worked out. It all worked out. You were, like, a whole boss and a half ahead of me. Yeah, it's fine. We appreciate everyone that's made it this far, because these are the elite, the, the elite gamers yeah, against this is the semi-finals. Oh, no, do not, do not put me in that group. I'm I will put you on a pedestal. Favorite. You can't Full stop disclosure. me. <laughs> that's false advertisement. You can't do that. I'll now, get Brax, sued. if you want to start uh, throwing some shade real quick, you have Corey and Rin are your potential counterparts for this final fight. Do you have a okay. specific one you would appreciate fighting? If, if it's Rin, I will go solo Yoimiya against his solo Amber. Against uh, the last boss. Hey. Those are some fighting words. I solo uh, if it's Tori, solo. I hope we get no hydro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, then <laughs> me and Giv have to move on over because we got our next fight going on and some more gifts to give away to people. Right. So we will catch you all sooner than later. Uh, and I can welcome in Rand. How you doing? Hi. Oh, we can get Corey. That was fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, fast. Yep. These final fights Very are going to go uh, quickly. Did you have any shows like that growing up that you watched? Corey in the House? Corey in the House? Yeah. Greetings. Hello. Oh, oh, I wasn't that. using your oh, name that. in any sort of way. <laughs> what? No, I've heard, I've heard that phrase too many times in my life. <laughs> it's fine. Alrighty then. Any thoughts? Any any words to share with each other as as we complete the semifinals with you two? Mm. Uh, I, I'm not really one for smack talk, so mm. all I'll say is, is Rin, Rin has always been someone that we, we appreciate in a theory crafting and just like in life ways. So it, it is an uh. honor to be here and come and <laughs> face to face here. And we're gonna, we'll give our best game here. And I, I assume you will too. A yep. wholesome message. Uh, I appreciate okay. everyone that has helped me along with my first charity stream. Corey has been a huge help getting this all sorted out the legal ins and outs and all that. So thank you very much. And of course. good game to you, Corey. Also, yes. I don't know what I was gonna say after that. <laughs> <laughs> the GLHF, the yeah. GLHF. GLHF. <laughs> GLHF indeed. Wait, what What side in World of Warcraft did you play Corey again? Uh, I was like 99% Alliance. Okay, so I was Alliance too. So yes, oh, uh, brothers. I was, I was hoping yes. that that would be the breaking point <laughs> yeah. for you. That didn't work. <laughs> it's just like, for the Horde, for the Alliance. For the Horde. <laughs> Any sort of tribalism, please. All right. Well, any case, <laughs> for your final fights. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that was a Hearthstone player. I don't need this. Um, we had uh, two of the easy bosses to start off with. You have right, right. your world, one world boss, followed up by either Azraha or Andreas. Mm. So we shall get cool. started now. All right, three, two, one, good luck. As Gib and I All drop right. ourselves out, they get started. Uh, start your clocks right now, people, because this is the fight that's gonna take five minutes, six, maybe, maybe, maybe if they cough the wrong way. We're watching very closely. 
I see any skills. <laughs> and okay, that's dead. Up oh, there it is. There's uh, there's animal cube down on one side. Uh, Rin actually saving time, just walking straight on over to do Andreas first. So we're gonna see a divergent path, smart, smart. keeping track to see who beats who. Um, trying to throw a random rock at the civilians over there. They didn't deserve that. I feel like this actually isn't gonna go that slow. I thought it was gonna go pretty slow, but with the uh, the Joker card of the Traveler and Jing Cho, I think this is gonna go pretty fast. I agree. I think I was I was kind of surprised that we didn't see a barber pick up here, but it's mostly because I don't personally use Jing Cho, so I'm like, ah, uh, what's the purpose of him? Um, <laughs> it, yeah, the all the heat's gone now, so that's the purpose. And with all the heat being gone, um, the interesting thing... Oh my gosh, look at all that damage from Sing Yeah, Chow. look at that, John Lieber. Whoa! Oh my god, yes. Yeah, that's, you just called out, oh that's no. That's <laughs> okay, that is one task. That's that's two, two bosses, bosses V1 Lord. right now. Hey, Cory going on to Wolf Lord. Of course, naturally, we are seeing some Shotgun Amber taking place here. Uh, no you surprise. You Shotgun Amber. Yeah, no surprise that this was going to be what was going to happen. Um, the main thing is this little trick here, where you pre-fire where the wolf is going to take place. It's one of the most <laughs> ridiculous comps I've ever seen. But um, getting those shots off do save a lot of time. But we shall see. Looking into this fight, um, I actually... I think that they'll be fine for Golden Wolf Lord. I was initially nervous, but... Because this fight just takes a while, uh, just from previous tournaments that we ran. But the full yeah. Geo team really. Yeah, kinda. they both got all Geo, <laughs> so it's. Yeah. Instead of it being a, a detraction, it's a total buff. I was honestly really hoping for somebody to get a full elemental shift to maybe replace that. And that's Wolf Lord dead. Three bosses Wolf to two bosses now. For the count. Three to As two. Rin, they are going over. Well, Rin to be able Pyro to cube. clutch up here with the Pyro Cube. Pyro Cube will go fast, but Corey is going over to Andreas here, and that is a free team. And he's probably gonna pull out the C6 Yelan, and you know how that goes. Ooh, you are right. I see that right in the you corner. Know, you, you know how that goes. <laughs> the Yelan, yeah, look at that. He already knows the Yelan team is out ready. Does he's got Yelan the two get dashes, multiple two dash over. dashes? First, yeah, like, C4. C1, she gets, uh, to C1, she gets extra dash. Gross. And also on a lower cooldown, since the stacks go as you're using your E. So, like, while you're doing your E, there's what? a cooldown going for the next E, so... Like, it goes really fast. Like, see? It's already three seconds for the next E. That's crazy. I didn't even know about that. Uh, looking yeah. over at Rin's side, Barbara's going to clean house here. I expect this to go pretty quickly. We're going to have a pretty close fight at the end here. Um, does Rin has still to do... So this is Pyro. They complete... They still have Golden Wolf Lord as their final one. Yeah, Rin still has um, to do Wolf Lord. Which is wow, going to take a minute. this is the final one for Corey, I believe. Yeah, and Corey is going to one-shot this. So have, uh... <laughs> we shall see. So Let's see Corey this. W. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, that's disgusting. disgusting. Oh, he missed one ear. It would have been dead already. Oh no. Save us a little bit of time as Wolf Lord gets taken up. Hold on, we're actually, for the finals for both of them, might be more neck-to-neck -neck than we were originally expecting because there is that little bit of lag time of the Wolf, uh, of the Andreas fight. This is why we call these the giant fights. This is absolutely disgusting. Both both people's teams are what every other Genji player is hoping for. Ooh, but for some reason, oh, Rin actually has to swear. Yeah. I don't think they realize how little time they got, and it's over. That's it. In it's the middle over of Gearing. right there. Well then. I, it is GG's. Battle, battle. I got, I got to give credit where credit's due. The only reason that I knew how to do the wolf lord in that way was because of rin wow. <laughs> wait what'd you do oh, well i i kept it ab just above 75 oh and then you did that it during the laser and, and got it without having to go in a healing phase there you go yeah so epic strats but that yolan is crazy like it is. any boss it's, just it's uh nonsense. like the hp is not there oh <laughs> yolan was used still somewhere okay yeah Damn. that's that was the big one <laughs> this nonsense was taking place with Yulon. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, Oops. any case, uh, no time like a present. I believe it's time for us to move over to our final two contestants. Uh, can I have Braxphone join us on stage, please? So, as the competition starts to heat up, as players really kind of dig down deep and find that fiery spirit underneath them, we all, at some point in time, 
have one question we just ask each other. You got a light? Introducing the Ambic Lighter. All you need to do is what, hold this in happening? your backpack, keep it keep it on top at any point in time, and just like Gosh. just like in the regular game, it's just a regular lighter. <laughs> Nothing of importance. Oh, oh. getting slandered yeah, on a Rintai Cho hosted <laughs> uh, <laughs> charity event. How dare you? So, Brax, you're not you're not un not um, wow words are hard. This isn't unusual for you to be winning some tournaments. Is there any other tournaments uh, that you can remember of recent memory that you want to talk about? Oh, yes. I remember distinctly a, a Genshin Impact tournament at Anime Expo hosted by Ooh. Hoyaverse uh, that I, I was able to win. Uh, and I also won a Honkai Star Rail tournament. And I got second place in a Honkai Impact tournament. Those guys are correct. I can't. Can't keep up. <laughs> but the thing is, I haven't had C6 Yolan as my opponent in any of these, so I, I don't know. That is true. We'll see. We'll see. My, maybe you won't still. It's true. Never go. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of know. bosses. Corey's, <laughs> Corey's got to. like a lot of knowledge of this game. Like Corey is Corey is like very big brain, so this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Well, we might be shifting up your fundamentals a little bit with this final fight. Um, because it changes quite a bit. This is the biggest fight, naturally, as it is the finals. You guys will be fighting off against two cubes or flowers, uh -huh. two world bosses, and to finish things off, the Shogun or Signora. So I think it's time, no time like the present. We can start rolling these wheels and see how we feel. Sure. With our final two contestants on the line here, you have a kind of ludicrously stupid uh, uh, set of challenges ahead of you. Best of luck, and three, two, one, go. Give, how does this happen? How do we get three Animo boys all in a oh, row? Really? <laughs> just, only. I am expecting, actually I have no expectations going into this because both of their major C6 units have been completely stupefied by this event. They've been brought down to the human level. We don't know what, what's going to happen here. And they have very similar teams right now for the first boss. They do. They're both and starting Kotler at Electro having Q. some issues. Let's see what kind of attacks he use. He might be going for only one or two of the cubes at a time, not trying to get greedy with it. Um... It seems like Hazo doesn't really do that much damage against them. Not there's yeah. a there's a combo you could do with Hazo. You have to charge attack though. You can oh, animation really? cancel his charge attack, and it can do the the things. I did that when we were testing it the other the other day. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So Corey's also down to the final grouping. Um, just getting those bugs out. If he can do oh, this in the one Kazo phase, does the Kazo Kazo let a one phase. <gasps> he did yep. one phase it. He's now ahead. Yep. Whoa. Okay, that changes everything. But Brax is also catching up really fast. Corey going over to Wolf Lord, and Brax is going over to the Twins. Old Wolf Lord refusing to come down to our level. Uh, he's too lofty like that. Uh, Vishaps, I think, are the biggest problem of this fight. Hey, going through Wolf Lord pretty fast here, and yeah, Brax is I'm on surprised. the Twins still. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I thought that Wolf Lord only got hurt with Geo, but apparently I'm wrong on that. Oh uh, no, you can any. use any elemental, it just does less damage, as you can see. Got it, okay, Ooh. well he's down, he's down two of the three already, this is going well. Yeah, um, the Geo I mean, Traveler fill is next. helping a lot right now. So that's Cory 2, Brax 1 right now, with Brax being right at the very end here, can he finish it? He did, it's 2-2. Two, two. Okay, we are still, two it's two. anyone's game. Cory's slightly ahead, but it is still anyone's game for sure. Okay. Going on to Pyro Flower with their three characters. We know Cory Zilan does not mess around yeah, really on uh, Pyro what enemies. Was that? Yep, what it is what gone was already. That? The boss HP does not even exist. Okay, it that's, is already gone. That's three to two is, now. Let's see. Okay, Cory's going on to twins. Three to two. So Let's Brax, Brax does this. look, we're we're talking a big game about Cory right now and how crazy that was. But Brax is C6 on his Yaimiko. Let's see, can he one shot yes. this the same way? Are we seeing an ult? He has to break the, the ult. shield, and then once he gets the ult. No. Oh, you these guys are why it. these people are winning right now. They're they're right, the leaders of our tournament for a reason. Okay. They're three to nice three. Boss. Three that to three. Is so insane. Brax is so slightly behind. I think that between the two fights. Do I believe that no burst is worse than bow only animo? 
Um, Brax does have tokens. He used both of his tokens here, so Fo only is uh, not bad actually here. Is he? Why is he using Zhongli? Is that one of the wild cards? Actually, there's been some concern. What is the concern? So, the issue is that I, the thing I said, I'm like Zhongli isn't a lifeline, <laughs> and, and um, he's he's currently talking to some of the uh, the rule makers right now, being like, yeah, he, he's not. <laughs> so I don't know what their plan is about that. Um, I guess they'll decide that now. Zhongli was his lifeline for the fight. Oh, okay. And there's there's a select number of lifelines that they can choose between. Uh, they pr they're yeah, probably going to pick chose Slutter over. Two on, he chose two on uh, Wolf Lord. Yes, but there's only select certain characters you can pick as the lifeline, and Zhongli's not on that oh. list. Oh. Which is, I think, what the concern is. Um, so does so he have to go back to Wolf Lord, or what? He might need to mulligan. We'll see. Um, I'm curious what they what they decide. He's leaving right now the, the fight. So, I was leaving right, he might be going back to Wolf I'm sure Lord. that uh, Rin's going to jump in here and give us some more information on what's happening. And if not, we'll, we can keep an eye out and see what the choice is. But, hey, I mean, uh, Corey is still going through, finishing up the final bit of the fight here. Oh, just a little bit yeah. more damage, and he'll be well on his way to his second to last fight. Oh, you know what might have happened? Uh, they might have had Brax just take a second, like a 30 second pause, potentially. Oh, yeah, no, that is, I think that's what they said they were going to do. Yeah. All right, that works. In that way. Okay, well now they're even on Raiden. Yeah, right. they're both. Time to catch up. Hey, what's up? What's the update? Had to go fix the lifeline issue there. Yeah, we, Yai we, and Jungle were not lifelines. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So now they're all sorted with Brax taking a break, or does he have to go back and fight them? Oh uh, no, we gave him like a time penalty, but gotcha. We'll see what happens here. Oh, we'll see. He has Yoi here and uh, Yoi and Yai are his big cards. I don't know. So. If he, I don't know if Chat will be satisfied with this outcome. That's the problem now. Mm. There we go. Well, Brax did complete um, with Corey mm. quickly behind. This is up to you. I'm, I'll default to your decision here. Well, uh, we'll have the, we'll have them come in and we'll have that yeah, chat. Corey right is done now. We will do sudden death. You two can build whatever team you want for this. You will go back to back, Ashta and Senora. That shouldn't take. Oh, too that's long. good. The reason I feel bad about it is because like. I'm sure you guys said it at some point, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> You have a crime that you need solved right away. <laughs> you lost your cat, a murder, or some money got stolen from you. Well, why don't you head on down to Inazuma City and visit Hazo Detective Agency. Hazo will dig deep, go to the source, and find whatever solution, problem, or missing item that you need. Uh, Hazo has a number of uh, degrees and certificates <laughs> that allow <laughs> him to perform such actions. And if you definitely need your problem solved with some fists, too. He will gladly do that for you. He's a detective agency down in Inazuma <laughs> City right now. Visit inazumacity.com slash Hazo Detective Agency and use code Hazo for 10% off your first consultation. All right, team. With a little mulligan and a little luck on both people's sides, we have two <laughs> final bosses for you. Uh, two quick little, uh, for everyone else, large, insurmountable challenges. For you guys, a quick walk in the park. Let's see which one can defeat it faster. And on your marks, three, two, one, go. We're going to drop them out of here so we can do yep. a little bit of talks real quick for our final real fight. You think, you think we're not going to have a little bit of spice at the end of the tournament? Absolutely not. No, no way. Um... So clearly, there is um, no restrictions going on to this fight. They can kind of just go uh, crazy cuckoo bananas ham. But I'm seeing a uh, Yulon also on Brax's side as well. So we're seeing a little bit yeah. of a mirror match. Just the best of the best of the meta Corey characters is so right likely now. Ahead, though. Yeah, he is slightly ahead. But there is a, thankfully a second fight, which will have a cryo section. But yeah, he is Corey fighting is an Electro for the second one. Once, the Yulon burst it just shreds through that phase right there. True. Once we get out of pyro phase for Brax, I think that's when he's gonna really kind of pick up speed. That is first fight uh, done Corey on goes crazy, Corey's though. side. Crazy for the tree to come up. All those nine nine nines, man. Holy crap. Yeah, this is Holy concerning. Jesus. And let's see fight number two. Brax is right at the end. It's also a electro, so that will help him out quite a bit dealing with pyro damage. That Yulon consistent 18k. Yeah, it's C6 disgusting. Yulan is just way too strong. Absolutely it's disgusting. disgusting. Same thing happened on Brax's side. Dude jumped out of the ground and instantly got murked. So actually the time between the two of them isn't that crazy, all things considered. 
It's just a couple loading screens. Who has the more beefy PC by the end of it? Yeah. And somebody's saying the Brax also seems to have slightly longer loading screens. That indeed is a skill issue around these parts. <laughs> Just grabbing those little ice crystals. I think actually Yoimiya will help out even more in this part. Yep, I'm seeing a Yoimiya ult, potentially. Big damage. Corey's on to second phase. Oh. And Yolan using two bursts up. Rex had a lag for a second there. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> His CPU gave up, he said. Yeah, she's about to get blasted right here, look. Oh, okay, here we go. And is that, oh is that end? Oh my god. And that is the that end. That is the power of C6 Yalan. C6 Yalan is disgusting. My God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is actually GG's crazy. all around. Indeed. Shall we get everyone into one area and do yeah. our little congratulatory session? Sure, let's do it. And the winner is Corey Yee. <laughs> Thank you. Yugo had suffered through trials and tribulations for five and a half hours, raising $5,090 for charity. So I want to give a big yes. clap for all of our competitors today, no matter what placement they were in, because, oh my gosh, couldn't have done it without everyone here. Yeah, that was not, yep. such an honor to be here and part of such an important cause, really. That's always, as much as we're having fun, that's always the most important thing is supporting this amazing thing. And thank you, thank you, Rin, for getting us all together. Yeah. It's been really for freaking real. cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me on this. This was Hi, a blast. There. Five hours. It was super fun. Yeah, we should definitely do this again sometime in some other form, for sure. Um, With less anima, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still have one print left to give away, though.